みんな、おはようございます。Jesus Freaking Gamer here. An amazing prophet has just come into light in 1st Kings chapter 17. It is the first mention of the prophet Elijah. Now, even most non believers have heard that name before. And for good reason, this dude did some amazing miracles. Probably the greatest miraculous anointing since Moses. I mean, he did some amazing things that just hadn't been done in a few hundred years. So let's just, the message today is pretty simple and quick. Let's start with 1 Kings 17, right at verse 1, right at the beginning of the chapter. And Elijah the Tishbite of the inhabitants of Gilead said to Ahab, king of Israel, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years except at my word. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Get away from here and turn eastward, and hide by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord, for he went and stayed by the brook Cherith, which flows into the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. I mean, if God wants to provide for you, nothing can stop him. It's, it's so funny to think, it's like, yeah, just chill by the brook, there is your water. Oh, and I'm going to send some birds, and they're going to bring you food. And they did for who knows how long, morning and night. I guess Elijah's days were just spent in meditation, prayer, worship. Maybe he had a scroll with the law of Moses at his side. I don't know. But my gosh. Like, and interestingly enough, he was still commanded to hide there. So, whereas the Lord could easily have, you know, sent angels or whatnot to protect him, he could have just walked through, you know,、um, Samaria, the, the capital of Israel. And it wouldn't have mattered. But the Lord saw fit to. Feed him miraculously and protect him. I'm sure there was some supernatural involved there, but still, he was in hiding, so somewhat naturally. It's really interesting how the Lord chose to do that, but regardless of the way and regardless of the method, the Lord's hand isn't short. He can protect, He can provide. Later on in this chapter, Elijah, for the first time biblically, brings someone to life.、Um, that's not the topic of today's message. I may. Make it tomorrow's message. Probably won't, but it just bear, just as far as Elijah's miraculous anointing, the first resurrection from the dead recorded in Scripture. So even in the Old Testament, they saw a resurrection from the dead. Just absolutely mind blowing what the Lord is able to do through us weak, frail men. And to close this whole thing off, in the book of James, chapter 5, it talks about Elijah being a man like us. Same nature as us. And he did all these things. What a great example he set for us, and what a great calling that can await all of us who love God and who seek his face. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.